Hey guys, it's John here at the Acoustic Shop. Well, actually, I'm not at the Acoustic Shop. I'm at NAM 2023 here in Anaheim, California. What we're gonna do is go inside. I haven't had a chance to look around too much, but I've seen a little bit. I'm pretty excited about this. I think what we're gonna do is create a challenge of the best guitar under $1,500. So we're gonna try every guitar we can get our hands on and come up with what is our favorite under the $1,500 price mark. So join us. All right, so we made our stop. We are now at the Breedlove Bedell booth. I'm here with Jerry. Jerry is my friend. Jerry, we're looking for the best guitar under $1,500 at the NAMM show. What do you got? You know, I think I got something for you. All right, let's check it out. Come on in. So right. this, is, this is hot off the press. This is the new uh, Organic Performer Pro, Indian Rosewood, true Indian Rosewood. FSC certified, sustainably harvested, with a European spruce top. Fishman Flex Plus T preamp, hard shell case included on this guy, and it's well under $1,500. Sweet. Try it, Check it out. Give it a shot. Get rid of my badge here. Got some depth. Our new cascade bracing, which is um, a, a shape that we found works best uh, from uh, from our, our research doing the sound optimization. Uh, we found that uh, the shape of the pattern, the brace is as important as the position of the brace. So, um, Sweet. Yeah. Well, it sounds great. Unlike anything else done. So, Sika, spruce top. No, European spruce European top. European spruce top. Indian rosewood sides and Indian back. Rosewood back right. And this one is? 1249 with a hard shell case included. All right. Well, there you go. That's uh, Breedlove's entry into this one, the best guitar under $1,500. It's the Breedlove Performer Pro Concert T. Concert T. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So we got to the Ibanez booth. We're gonna check out their, this is what, not their highest price. I got this one here, $3,500. This one is the next level down. List price, $979. It's the AAD 190 CE. We're gonna check it out, see how it lists in our under $1,500 challenge. Looks like it has, uh, it looks like it's solid wood connection. Is this, let's say solid, Ukema top, Ukumi, Okumi top, back and sides, uh, XM bracing. It does say on here, 5% bigger than a standard dreadnought. So I'm, I'm curious about that. So we're gonna check it out, see what we think here. Good little guitar. Uh, we'll check it out and get your rating, ratings here in just a little bit. All right, so we're looking at a Seagull guitar. This is the Maritime SWS Natural AE. Uh, mahogany back and sides, rich light fingerboard, ebony bridge. Uh, does have a solid spruce top. Uh, Semi-gloss finish with the Fishman Electronics, list price of $11.55, a $9.49 street price or map price. So let's see what it sounds like. Not bad. 
pretty good one. All right, we'll get you your score in just a minute. All right, so we have a Godin here. Godin, Metropolis Composer EQ, solid mahogany back, layered mahogany sides, solid top mahogany, neck is mahogany, rich light fretboard, ebony bridge, LR bags, element pickup, so we're jumping up here, semi-gloss, uh, list price of $11.58, $9.79, so same price uh, as the Godin. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. We'll get you a score here in a minute. All right, we're here at Takamini, and we're looking at a G Series GD90 CE ZC. I'm gonna insert that for uh, Zeracote back natural top. Um, this guitar. He is at priced at map price 949 so a uh, this falls into our category a lot of there's other stuff but this is the one that we can afford so let's check it out Martin, the D15M. It says 14 fret, modified oval uh, neck, all mahogany, mahogany back and sides. This is uh, the D15M. Let's check it out. Time of guitar. Give you a score in just a minute. All right, we're at the Alvarez booth. This is the highest priced one on their list. It is the MPA 66 ESHB Masterwork Series. It says it is solid African mahogany top, back and sides, also solid, forward shifted bracing. Tapered tone bars, ooh, and uh, LR Bag Stage Pro built in. So let's see what it sounds like. It's pretty. Again, price on this one is list price 1249 829 Street. Not a bad little guitar. I'll give you a score in a minute. Eastman, we have the L O M Q S. It is a solid European spruce top. Solid quilted sapele back and sides, true tone gloss finish, uh, $18.90 list price with a street price of $1,500. So, uh, also has a tone port on the side, wood bindings. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what it scores at. All 
All right, we are at Guild. We are looking at the Guild DS240 solid spruce top, laminate sides and back in a slope shoulder uh, uh, dreadnought style here. It does have a bone nut and saddle, and uh, we'll kind of see what it sounds like here. It's better in tune. Just a minute. All right, guys, we just finished out here at the 2023 NAM show. It was fun. We did our top 15, our top guitars under $1,500. A lot of different options out there. We missed some, but we got as many as we could. There's, just a, there's, there's a lot of guitars. Anyway, so here's how we're gonna do. We broke these down into four or four different categories with a score of five, a max score of five for each. They were tone, playability, overall value, and build quality. So here's the top scores right here. So at number nine was the Ibanez at 11. Number eight was Godin at 12 and a half. Number seven was the Seagull at 14, and that was a tie with Takamini, who also had number uh, 14 score. Number five was Guild at 14 and a half. Number four was Alvarez with a score of 15. Breedlove came in at number three with a score of 16 and a half. And then our two biggest ones, and these were close, was the Martin Guitar at 17, and the Eastman New Limited at 17 and a half. And that was pretty conservative. I actually thought the Martin was gonna edge it out. Ends up it didn't. Great guitars. There are a lot of options under $1,500 this year. So go check out a whole bunch of them and we'll see you again next year for the next NAM.